Anjay, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Earlier, I asked Kevin Weeks to pick his Hart Trophy winner, and he picked you. What do you have to say? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And he had a lot of good reasons for doing so. You had an amazing season, and especially given the year before, I mean, your performance just went up exponentially. What was the biggest difference for you? Uh, you know what? I just had a, I had a really good summer, and uh, you know, everybody says that sometimes you got to take a step back to take two forward, and that was the case with me. You know, I think, uh, you know, the the year before, um, it just wasn't. It wasn't good. I mean, there's no secret to it, and uh, I'd be the first to admit that. And then, you know, like I said, I just wanted to have a good summer. I did. Um, came uh, came to camp with, with a lot of energy, and then, uh, you know, the bounces went my way first couple of games, and then, you know, the confidence builds a little bit. And when you're playing with confidence, it's a lot more enjoyable and a little bit less of a grind. So, uh, you know, I think that was the the biggest part was just having a good start and just kind of go from there. Andre, when you had the puck on your tape this year in the Ozone. You looked confident, like you knew what you were going to do. You were very assertive. You weren't like second guessing, or am I going to dish? It seems like you just made your reads really quickly. Is that part of the same confidence you're just talking about? Absolutely. I, I think every single player will tell you when, when you're confident, it, it's almost the game slows down for you. And you can kind of see like the plays ahead that, that are developing. And that was the case for me this year. I mean, you know, like I said, confidence is a huge factor. and. Uh, yeah, I was playing with, with quite a bit of it this year. So we just talked to Nate McKinnon. He said he didn't have any idea what he would say if he won tonight. Do you know what you'll say? Do you have a speech written, or is it just going to come from the heart in the moment? <laughs> oh, it's it's definitely going to come from the heart. Uh, I've thought about it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I YouTube a few speeches nice. before me. That's called who, doing his homework. Who, yeah, but uh, what was the best one? Who did you yeah. study? Uh, I just looked at, at a couple, and, uh, you know, and they're not very different, so I don't think mine's going to be any different. But uh, I'm just going to wing it. I mean, there's uh, there's a couple of people that I really want to thank, and uh, you know, just like everybody else. And uh, we'll see. We'll see when the moment comes, if it comes. You guys are going in a new direction. Obviously, Dean Lombardi and Daryl had a big hand in the success that you guys had. Now Blakey takes over as GM, Luke, president, but also president of Hockey Ops. I talked to Drew Dowdy about it a couple of weeks ago up in Toronto. What's the new difference for you guys that you're seeing and you're experiencing as you guys go forward? Um, yeah, I think, you know, first and foremost, I think the management coming in did a tremendous job just to kind of settle the dust, really, because we were, uh, you know, the, before this year, you know, last few years before that, uh, they were pretty rough. I mean, it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't a whole lot of fun, um, you know, it was, and, it, and it's a grind. You know, over the course of 82 season, you have to have a little bit of fun to, to just kind of get you through some, some tough times. And, uh, you know, with, with Rob coming in and Luke and, uh, you know, Johnny Stevens stepping up. And, uh, you know, it was, it was just, I guess, a, a breath of fresh air that, that came in. And, you know, we bought in and uh, it turned out to be really good. The cool thing is you're not only up for MVP, you're also up for the Selkie. What does that mean to you to, to play so responsibly as a forward? Why is that important for you? Well, it's obviously that uh, a lot of credit goes to Dean and Daryl. I mean, they, they taught me that, and, and Terry Murray, I should say. Um, I mean, I just wanted to be a complete player, and uh, they were preaching about that a uh, bunch of years to me. And, uh, you know, when I finally figured it out, it was uh, it was just easier to play. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you have the puck more on your stick, and uh, you know, I was obviously playing with the puck, it's, it's a lot more fun. One last question. It's got to be tough playing in L.A. Nobody wants to be in Santa Monica. Oh, terrible Nobody weather. wants to be in Manhattan Beach. Terrible. It's got, no, honestly, tell us the best thing about playing in L.A. Because clearly there'd be a lot of them. But what's the one best thing that you love about playing for the Kings and being out in L.A.? I got to say the weather. I mean, it's, yeah. it's really hard not to pick the weather because yeah. it's, I mean, it's sunny and it's 65 pretty much all the time, yeah. even even in January. I right. mean, I could think of some some colder places than, <laughs> than 65. So true. I mean, and actually, the one good thing is uh, I should point out is we really have passionate fans. Yeah. I mean, we don't. I, I don't think they get enough enough credit. But at the same time, uh, you know, they respect our privacy, and maybe it's not as crazy and as some of some of the other sure. cities, you know, sure. especially Canadian cities, yep. which I'm not saying is bad, but no, I totally uh, you I know, totally when you 
when you can fly under the radar a little bit, it's a lot more enjoyable and it's not as stressful at times. Totally. All those yes. free agents out there are like, oh, LA sounds nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I may that's join nice Andre. Yeah. Exactly. It. Thanks so yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Good luck Thanks, tonight. Kofi. I hope that, that when you wing it, everything comes out exactly as you want to. Let's hope exactly. so. Thank you, guys. Thank Appreciate you. It.